Whew. All right, super excited about this video. I realized the other day I saw a comment on one of the uh, foam Facebook groups. They were asking, hey guys, what's the best way that you use to get uh, wood grain on your EVA foam? And there are a bunch of uh, answers like uh, burning it in, scoring it in, uh, sanding it in, everything like that. And I was like, holy cow, I realized that I use a technique that I haven't seen anybody else using. I should probably share it with you guys. So super excited about this. I haven't seen anybody else using this anywhere else. And so you're in for a treat. We're going to talk about getting a wood grain, the best way to get a wood grain into your EVA foam. If you're excited about this and you want to know some other, and you want to hear about some other textures that you can get in the EVA foam, let me know in the comments, what type of texture would you like to get on your EVA foam? All right. With that, let's go ahead and dive in. While we're doing that, go ahead and make sure to subscribe so you get notified of all of these videos when they come out and stay on top of your game. Cosplay like a boss, right? Okay. Here we go. I've got a little piece of foam ready to go. This is four millimeter what the foam. Now this technique works best with what the foam, but it does work with other uh, foams as well. Uh, it just works uh, much better. You, you get a little bit of wrinkles in your wood with uh, some other foams, but here we go. So I've got this. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun, heat up this piece. Good and hot. Now, while I'm heating up this piece, I'm going to talk to you guys simultaneously. This right here is the key trick to being able to do this. Now, you may have seen this in a previous video where we have rolled some texture onto FOMO, but this is this is the reason I actually got this was to be able to add it on the EVA foam. Okay, so this is just a little paint roller you'd use for being able to roll um, paint onto a wall and give it a, a wood grain paint look, but we're going to use it to be able to add this texture right into our foam. Okay, so I'm flipping it around, heating up both sides. Now what the foam does take a little bit longer to heat up than other foams, but it also holds its heat a little bit longer as well. And once you get it heated up, it's you know super malleable for how strong and durable it is. Uh, you know, just like you would see from like a, a warbler or other thermoplastics, when it's, get, it's heated up, it becomes very easy to shape. You can see. Okay. Now I want to get this really nice and hot. Okay, I think we're there. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to take my roller. Now it doesn't have the best handle, so I find that you, it's best if you just roll and press with your hands like that. And voila, look at that. Beautiful. Little subtle wood grain in there. I mean, just like you would expect, you'd want. You don't want it to be too deep or anything, but this is just enough to kind of get you that good little wood grain look. You have the indents and everything like that. So when you go to paint it, you do your darker washes and those will sink down into the, the crevices here, your lighter colors and everything like that. Stay up on the top, you'll get your lows, your low lights, your highlights, everything. And this will turn into a beautiful piece of wood. That show up okay on camera? All right. So let me know what you guys think. Is that cool or what? All right, let me know if you found this video helpful, you're excited to try this yourself. Let me know in the comments below and share this with a friend that you know that would benefit as well. All right. I'm super stoked about this and I'm glad I got to be able to share it with you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Give this video a like if you liked it. Share it with a friend, as I said, and cosplay on, my friends. I'll see you later. Bye.